Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, it seems like, um, you know, I think the, the best form of flattery is uh, copying. So it seems like these guys in the West don't like to be copied. There is, uh, they don't like when others are creating, let's say, uh, mercenary companies or private military companies, or if they invade other countries to, I don't know, uh, defend people over there and bring freedom and democracy, things like this, or, you know, uh, uh, deploy nuclear weapons in other countries. They don't like to be copied somehow. Well, Russia again copies the West. What does it do? Remember at the beginning of the war, or maybe uh, I can't remember exactly when it was, in the summer last year or so, uh, some countries decided that they will display in some of their main cities some of uh, the Russian hardware destroyed in Ukraine, like tanks or things like that. Remember that one? The problem was that in certain areas that backfired because, uh, for instance, in Lithuania and some other countries, there were people who were bringing flowers and in Germany as well. I covered that when that happened. They were bringing flowers to these uh, destroyed uh, Russian tanks. And that was, the again, uh, was against the intent. The intent was everybody to be happy about it and celebrate and dance a horror around it. So, now the Russians are doing the same thing, but they're not going to do uh, all this in other countries. They're going to do it in Russia. You know what they're going to do? They're going to get the Western tanks and Western, you know, uh, how do you call it, hardware, and they will display it in front of NATO member states, the ones that supplied Ukraine with exactly those um, uh, hardware, with those tanks and so on. So, isn't that wonderful? Well, uh, I think the Western nations should celeb celebrate that because if they did it, that means that was perfect. Now, if these guys are going to copy, they should celebrate or they're not fair because when we do it, it's A-OK. -okay. When they do it to us, that's not A-OK. -okay. Well, that's one of the definitions of being unfair. So, I can do it, you can't do it. Let's see what these... Uh, guys from Russia today have to say today, actually yesterday on 12th of July 2023. Moscow mulls plan to display destroyed Western hardware outside embassies. The idea is being considered by parliament and the defense ministry. Moscow could place destroyed military hardware on display outside the embassies of Western nations that supplied it to Ukraine. The idea was floated in Russia's lower house of parliament, the state Duma, on Wednesday. Duma speaker Vyacheslav Volodin has tasked the parliament's defense committee with discussing the idea with the defense ministry to iron out the details of potential exhibitions. End quote. And I'm going again. The proposal to place burned military hardware near the embassies of those countries that sent it to Ukraine is particularly interesting, end quote, Volodin stated. The idea is reminiscent to actions by Ukraine, which has set up a parliament exhibi exhibition in Kiev of destroyed military hardware, which is claimed to be Russian. Ukraine also sent burned out tanks on tour across multiple European cities, including the German capital Berlin. The later efforts appeared to backfire spectacularly, with the displays wrapping up ahead of schedule after locals repeatedly brought flowers to the tanks. These guys did not forget, neither did I. Ukraine has reported sustained heavy losses in Western supplied equipment in the past month, multiple US-made Bradley infantry fighting vehicles and M113 armored personal carriers have been destroyed, as well as du their Dutch-produced modification, the YPR-765, and German-made Leopard 2 tanks. The losses came as Kiev launched its long hurled counteroffensive early in early June. According to Moscow, the operation has failed to achieve any major gains. Russia has repeatedly called on the West to stop quote-unquote pumping Ukraine with assorted weaponry 
warning it would only prolong the hostilities rather than change their ultimate outcome. Senior officials in Moscow, in Moscow have also insisted that supplying Kiev with increasingly sophisticated weaponry heightens the risk of a direct conflict between Russia and NATO. So, what do you think? I think that will happen. And I think that these guys here will be fuming, will be angry as fuck. And then you know what? They will call it as it is. But when they did it, they all were in... They're all dancing and having a uh, good time. Well, it's understandable because, you know, whatever your enemy does is bad, whatever you do, unless the enemy commits a poof, then everything is good over there. In this case, I think it's uh, just a returning a favor. And uh, these guys should just probably ignore it. But they will not do that because we deal with some teenagers that write articles and they come in front of our TV uh, and uh, on the screens and they talk about this and that. They're teenagers in their brains. So they will come and point out and they tell us how morally and uh, bankrupt the Russians are and how fantastic we are, even though they did it. Some of them. We'll see. We'll see. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.